Hey, thanks for joining the channel. In today's episode, we are building a small crosscut sled with a kit that we bought off Amazon. Stay with us. Desperado, sitting in a old Monte Carlo, a man inside his hollow. All right, step one. And in addition to the parts that they sent you, you need a 16 by 24 or a 24 by 24 piece of uh, half inch plywood. You need some glue or double sided uh, sticky tape and some 2x4 and 2x6 materials for the front block and the, fr uh, the front and back block on this sled. So we'll address that uh, more when we get to that step. But step one, step one are, is attaching these uh, Teflon rails into your uh, saw. Now I would warn you when I got these, they were very tight. Um, I took a sander and uh, shaved these down so they would fit my slots a little bit better. So double check your slots before you do this step. Make sure that uh, they slide nice and neat, that they're not too loose, but in my case, too tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a mark on my table and I'm going to put, I'm going to use that as my mark to put my Teflon there. And then I'm going to put double sided tape on this Teflon bar so I can set my plywood on here and then remove it and flip it upside down and attach it with some screws. tape on here, um, I'm going to you gently, I want a little bit of my Teflon rails to stick out the front so it's easier to connect them, and then I want to use the side of my table saw to be square, so when I find that location, I'm going to place it down and then just push this down to connect it to the uh, Teflon, Teflon rails. Gently remove them, tip them upside down, and I'm good to go. On to the next step. All right, now that I've got my Teflon rails uh, glue, not glued, taped, if you don't have tape, you can use glue to glue these on. Uh, the instructions uh, will tell you how to do that. But now that I've got these taped and secured on here, I'm going to drill three holes in each one and then countersink them, and then using a hand uh, hand screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, uh, attach these bars, uh, these Teflon bars, to the half inch plywood. Okay, uh, make sure that the heads of your screws are countersunk into the Teflon so they're not going to hit your table saw. Let's flip this over and make sure it's going to work okay. Perfect, no pinching, slides good. Uh, we will cut our slot uh, eventually on this once we get the front and the back backer board on this. But uh, it looks good at this stage. Okay, we're going, to use, we're going to install the uh, backer bridge now, and uh, I'm just using a regular 2x4. You can uh, use whatever size of wood that you want. We're going to attach this to the front where it's flush, and then I'm going to use some wood screws that I have, again, countersunk from the bottom side, so they're not going to catch and hit the table top. Um, this board just needs to be wide wide enough that you have it three quarters to an inch or an inch from the highest that you're going to be cutting wood on this. So I probably won't be cutting more than one inch stock on this. So this is more than enough, but if you're going to be cutting, uh, you know, eight by or uh, 10 by or something like that, then you would want to maybe a two by six instead of a two by four. 
but let's attach this 2x4. Okay, I'm going to put <clears throat> four wood screws in this from the bottom side. Again, I'm going to countersink them. The only watch out here is, is that you don't want to screw anywhere close to where the blade's going to be, which is directly in the center here. So I will, you know, I can kind of eyeball it, but I think just for the sake, since I have to put a front board on too, is I'm going to just draw a line on the center mark where the blade's going to go. Uh, that way it'll just remind me um, not to put a screw anywhere close to that. Okay, we've got our front board uh, attached here. Now we're going to work on our backer board um, on the next step. Okay, for the front bridge, I'm going to, I don't have a 2x4, I'd use a 2x4 if I had it. So I'm going to take a 2x6 and I'm going to take an inch and a half on it. That will leave me 3 inches, uh, 3 inches that I um, can use on the, uh, the top board. And then this extra strip that I'll cut off is going to be used for my T-rails. And I'll cut a slot in that, which is the next step. So right now I'm just going to rip this to about 3 to 3.5 three inches wide and then we'll attach that for our front row. Okay, now we're going to make our uh, sub-fence. The sub-fence fits inside of the uh, front bridge and uh, we need to cut a slot in there for these T-rails. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to do this on my table saw. If you had a router, you could use a rabbit bit and cut a, uh, cut a shallow chain, channel in here to insert these T-rails. But what we're going to want to do is cut a channel that's centered in here that these aluminum T-rails will go in and then it will be flush with the top of your sub-rail. Uh, sub So the first thing we're going to do is set our, our blade at the depth of the uh, T-rail. And we're going to run this board through here uh, one time and we'll turn around and uh, run it through the second time and we'll use our rails as a measurement until um, we get the width where we want it, uh, where we want to get this cut out, and uh, we'll insert these and screw these in. You know, this was the message written on the wall in marker, advising that he, Jim, and Randy had made it this far, and that there was food in one of the offices. I think I've completed this thing. So I did put a little uh, stop block on this. Uh, that's what the T-rail is for, which will come in really handy down the road, cutting a lot of items uh, to the same length um, and then being the same, same dimensions, which is awesome. I've tested it out, as you can see in the video, and I really like it. So I think this thing's going to get a lot of use. So I um, want to give you a shout out here. Uh, if you like what we're doing, Please subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified when the next episode comes out. Also, check out our other channel, Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. I think you're really going to like the episodes that we have on there. But until then, be safe, have fun, make some sawdust.